National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cincinnati Bengals. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Now from the riverfront of the Ohio, sellout crowd has arrived at Acor Stadium in Cincinnati. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Greg, one of the joys of covering the league week in, week out, you watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they've gotten older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe protect some of their weaknesses. That's what it takes to play at a high level at the quarterback for a long time in the NFL and give credit to both these players and both these organizations. I think it's official. They have their quarterback of the future, and the future looks bright. On the return is Chase Brown. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. Can they keep him healthy? Because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. We're about to watch one of the most gifted passers in the league, Mike, and it's not only just his arm talent, that's of course off the charts, but his ability to process, his ability both pre and post snap to operate, maybe on a little bit of a different level than some of the other quarterbacks around the league. I mean, he is surgical with his approach, and he's on the short list of truly elite quarterbacks we have to offer in this league, and for us to get a front row seat, man, how special is that? That's the way to get started. A pickup of 17 and a very quick first down. When we met with these coaches during the week, Mike. They told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. Burrow now to throw on first down. Gonna get that complete to Jamar Chase. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy, and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand and results in a completion. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Now Burrow on the bootleg. And this ball incomplete on third down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Burrow to throw for it on fourth down. And he's going to have the first down. An aggressive call there, but it works out as they convert on fourth down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. 
Well, I think it's pretty clear what the week's plan was, and that was to get the quarterback in a rhythm right out of the gate. you got to imagine as the game unfolds, they'll sprinkle in some runs. But so far, it's been there a passing game to get this game started, and that last one results in a first down. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. He'll get this complete. It's Moss. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Go Burrow. Touchdown, Bengals. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown, that is a dream start for this offense. Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bengals will take a 7-0 lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. This returnable from the four. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Eagles led out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. If he's going to lead his team to a win, he has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. Now Hurts going to call his own number. And a good job defensively to rally to the ball. They hold him to a short game. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. To throw on second down is Hurts. He finds Jahan Dotson. He'll get about six before he's taken down. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. He'll try to run here with Barkley. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short... Just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's caught, Saquon Barkley. And he's not gonna be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. Got a man. It's A.J. Brown brings it in. 
And he will score. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Brown now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll start this on the ground with Moss. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Paris Evans on the scoreboard. Greg and I back here in Cincinnati after this. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Working out of the gun, Burrow. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. With the right personnel, the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece, right? You can put him in center field to play pass. You can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker, but you also can bring him on pressure, Mike, and that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. Quick throw taken in. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. shotgun snap now to Hertz. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They run out of the gun with Barkley. Hillage forward for maybe a yard. Jermaine Pratt up to make the stop.
Third down, three to go. Oh, a bad time to run out of time. They don't get the playoff on third and short. So after the five yards walked off, it is third down and eight. Dotson, the man in motion. On third down, here's Hurts. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. That is Trey Hendrickson, the veteran, in there to record the sack. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense are going to get set to take over once more. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. They bring Chase in motion. On first down, Burrow. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. T. Higgins, the intended receiver on that one. It's second down. I think he just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. He was trying to get it to Jamar Chase. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass looked to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. Not exactly the type of drive to write home about, Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Eagles offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He's got the 20. He's hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. Ah, but he'll gather it back in. Now, after that near turnover, clock is stopped. We have an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw is Hurts. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down.
tackle out of the gun. They give it to Barkley. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. Ben in motion is Brown. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he'll get up beyond the 40 to the 41-yard line. It is Logan Wilson up to make the play. Here's a second and nine. Once again, it's Barkley. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. What can they do here on third down and seven? Dotson, the man in motion. On third down, it's Hurts. He'll try to run for it. A oh, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball. Decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. So they come to the line for first down and 10. And this ball batted away and incomplete. Geno Stone that time all over him in coverage. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And they'll throw here with Hurts. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. So prior to that third down call, Mike, I thought they put themselves in a pretty good situation at that down and distance. They had run and pass both at their disposal, but nice job by the defense being up to the task. Force the incomplete. Brings up fourth down. He's going to try to get this himself. And he's going to have the Eagles first down. And he'll get it by plenty. It's a gain of eight on fourth and one. Hurts. This one caught just past the pylon. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Elliott on now for the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Eagles will move out to a 14-7 lead.
they didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Charlie Jones now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bengals offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. He'll try to set up the screen with Moss. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. So we've hit halftime and it's the visitors, the Eagles, out on top. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our Halftime Report. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. This is going to be taken in at the three. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Eagles offense and the veteran A.J. Brown make their way back out. And he was unguardable in the first half. You see the numbers as they try to add to those here in the third quarter. First and ten. Throwing is Hurts. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, He's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. On the handoff, this is Barkley. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Nice run there by Barkley, and he certainly surprised a lot of people in free agency. Not only that he left the Giants, but that he chose to sign with one of their biggest rivals in the process. He now joins a loaded Eagles roster, and having him in the fold will certainly help as they try to get back to another Super Bowl here in 2024. They'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. Hurts going to hold on to this one. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is... We want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Hurts will work here from the pistol. That's complete. Tight end Goddard. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. 
They get the conversion in a big way. That's good for 29 yards. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Play clock down to zero. That's going to be a delay. A pistol snap back to Hurts. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. 16-yard pickup on that one. First down, Philadelphia. Really nice throw there. The ability to throw the ball out on the perimeter. Yes, arm strength and all of that, but it's also timing. The timing of the route. When is that wide receiver coming out of his break to deliver that ball accurately as his head comes around? If the ball's thrown too early, the receiver's not ready. If the ball's thrown too late, that's when disaster strikes. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook. And so far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. They'll run with Barkley. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. So got it. The tight end comes in motion. They'll try it now with Barkley. He slams it in there, and he is in. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, Eagles. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime. That other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for the second half. The extra point by Elliott is good. And the Eagles will take a 21-7 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Bengals offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. A run with Moss to begin the drive. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down.
Burrow now. He'll get that to all his tight end. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They'll come up to third and three. Now Burrow on the bootleg. Off balance throw. It's complete. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. What great work after the catch to extend the drive. This is a great example of where just having situational awareness is so critical in the huddle. When every one of those receivers, Mike's breaks the huddle and go line up, they've got to know where that first down marker is. If your route calls, get by it, secure the catch, and bring up a fresh set of downs. They will not get this one off. It'll be a delay of game. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. To the middle of the field, caught by Higgins. They'll try again here, second and ten. Moving the tight end right. Burrow here on second down. Ah, throw across his body is complete. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of play. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. The backfield empty here for third and two. Now, Burrow. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. Pickup of 11 yards on that one. It's a Cincinnati first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead and... The age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Open man is the tight end sample. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. Second down, Burrow. His throw left side is complete. Second time they've connected on this drive, and 19 yards out of this one. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Passing right side, and Chase has it. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Now a second down throw for Burrow. And he will score! Game on! Touchdown, Cincinnati! Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. 
gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? On is McPherson for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Bengals draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. To return is Kenneth Gainwell. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Set to go now on first and ten. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. And that's not going to yield a whole lot. Up to about the 28-yard line. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. Big time opportune sack there by the defense. Mike, they're right on the cusp of field goal range. You can't allow this to become a two possession ball game here in the fourth quarter. Massive third down coming up here. See if they can get off the field and get the ball back to their offense. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. It was third and 16, and they got 17. And a new set of downs. That's about as big time as you get. There's a saying, Mike, that you really judge your quarterback by his ability to operate, not only on third down, but what they call third and pass, meaning it's such a long down and distance, they have no choice but to air the ball out. And when you can convert third downs at that distance, chances are you got a pretty big time quarterback. Right back to Brown. He, oh, he doesn't put it away, and the ball's out. The Bengals have got it. And so much for a nice game through the passing game. Not finishing the play, fumbling the football. And the offense has turned it over, Greg. Mike, give credit to the defender here for not quitting on this play. They just give up a chunk play in the passing game. He stays after it. And instead of just making a simple tackle, he attacks the ball, knocks it loose, and creates a big takeaway for this defense. The Bengals offense getting set to get back to work. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field?
So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run straight ahead with Barkley. Space to run inside the 20. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. They get 22 yards there. First down, Philadelphia. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. On first down, it's Hurts. He pulls it in around the five. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Ben in motion is Brown. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that's exactly how you stress all week, finishing a game. Get the ball and leave no doubt. But that late touchdown, Mike, that should all but just seal this victory away. On is Elliott to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles have doubled their advantage. It is now a 28-14 game. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Jones now on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Got his receiver on the in cut. He's got it. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Second and six coming up. They bring Chase in motion. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Pass downfield. Is caught by Brown. Now the Bengals are going to call the first of their timeouts. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. Taken in. Now timeout Cincinnati. That's their second. And they'll get together prior to this second down play. Yeah, 
Burrow. There's that man again. Another catch. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Burrow to throw. He's got it at about the eight. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Play action now. It's Burrow. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. You could just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do. And, man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. And this is going to be a touchdown. Hold everything. They are not done yet. And with that late score, it's going to give them a little bit of late life here, Mike. But remember, the next series of events is very unlikely. They need to get the onside kick and then likely a Hail Mary situation. So while they definitely have a little bit of a chance, I think it's pretty slim. So a big play coming up for the Bengals as they will indeed try to tack on two. To throw is Burrow. And he'll get into the end zone, doing it on his own. Successful two-point conversion. Everybody's looking to end every drive with six, but when you can turn that six into eight, man, what a confidence boost coming off the field, and they're going to force their opponent now to start chasing. That score, too little, too late. They need a recovery and a miracle here. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick. Not much of a chance. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Hurts down to a knee, and that will wrap this one up. So now the Bengals use their third and final timeout. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here. 
as he's down to a knee. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.